All right, guys, we're back with another video. Monday morning. Is it Monday morning? It's no. Monday morning, yeah. Is it Monday morning? It feels like Monday. No, it's Tuesday morning. It is well, Yesterday was Monday. It started raining on me. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right, he says. All right, come down so we can load the rest of the stuff up. All right, guys, we're going to be headed to Stanton here with a load of good stuff. So you got number two copper, number two copper, number one copper. This is all of our electric motors. I have more, I just didn't get them all done. Joe's loading up right now. We're headed to the scrapyard. It's cold this morning. It's only 30 degrees. But I, if you guys watched me last video, this thing's still laying here. A couple more air conditioners that were picked up. More stuff here that I didn't uh, even clean yet. Yesterday it was rainy and it was just stupid, disgustingly out. I can only do what I could do. These are all the coils we did from all the restaurant ones and uh, one big AC unit. This thing's got a copper coil in it. This thing's full of sealed units. That's trash. This is wire. This has to go, Joe. And then there's the air conditioners over here. And then more water heaters we picked up for scrap. I did that yesterday, picked that stuff up. This wire has to go. And then I didn't even do anything with this yet. I didn't even move this stuff back after I cut that frame up. But we just kept throwing stuff here, boiler chunks and all kinds of stuff. <sighs> the weather was not kind to me and I, I had my Halloween party. <clears throat> I had my Halloween party on uh, Saturday. The weather was beautiful out. And uh, we, we had a good time, man. Dressed up as a Hooters girl. Some of you guys seen the short. It's pretty terrifying. I'm going to post a little clip right here. Pretty horrific, huh? Oh. <laughs> but you guys gotta, you know, you gotta know how to have a good time. You know what I mean? But other than my wife, he was the sexiest girl there. Yeah, other than Joe's wife, <laughs> you know what she went as? You'll never guess what she went as. What she go as, Joe? You tell him. Tell him what he, what, what your wife dressed up as. My wife. <laughs> His wife. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just loading up and everything. Got some wire. We got a bunch of stuff we're doing. I have I have to go to an old farm and pick stuff up today. So I don't even know if you're gonna be able to get I, that one out of me. I'm definitely not gonna be able to work it. <sighs> oh. I don't know if that helped. It really did actually. <laughs> that barrel is heavy. Joe, I wanna get video of that after you put it on the gate. Oh my freaking Christ! Two. Don't don't put the other one on. Let's just pick one of them up. Pick one up and we'll show them how heavy it is. <laughs> she, dropped <three> inches. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped about an inch, inch and a half. With you and the can on. Right. Just get it in there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to move it around too much. You know what? Leave it right there. Don't even bother moving it. Yeah, right there. Don't waste energy, we'll pack the coils around it. Oh yeah. Just remember we gotta get this can in too. I think this one might be heavier. This one might be heavier. <laughs> it's hard trying to do this and film guys. Oh, Is it heavier? Ah, uh, no. No? No, but it's about the same. Oh God, guys. <sighs> This is why I didn't do this yesterday. It was pouring rain. You see, everything's wet. It doesn't really help that it's only 30 degrees today. Nice view of Joe's butt. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you a shove. I feel bad because I can't film. No, it's fine. And work at the same time. Might have to hire a girl just to film us. Might have to. We did Neighbor. Tripod? Yeah. That'd be a bit weird. Growing tripod? I don't know. I mean, they exist. I mean, I'm, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if the girl's a tripod, I, who am I to judge her? All right. These are all empty. All right, we can shut the light off. 
Alrighty. We don't need to lock that. Yeah, you see there was a couple more fan motors here and other random stuff. This thing's got a copper coil in it, a coil. We didn't even get to it. Like I said, it was just so crummy, the weather. I picked this too up the other day. That's got an electric motor and a giant A coil in it. We were gonna do it on Friday, but I had to get done early. Didn't even bother to get it done, man. But this has a copper coil in it. Didn't get that either. I mean, sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't, guys. But all we gotta do is load up this stuff and we're gonna shoot over to Stanton's. I wanna get paid and on the way back, I'm gonna stop at that farm and pick up whatever tin that guy's got. But all right, guys, stick to the end of the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I uh, didn't film a lot of stuff last week. We had a really good high pressure week, uh, made some decent money. I uh, really didn't film anything though because it was just one of those <laughs> one time. Yeah, it was kind of we we, we just kept going because we were so exhausted and we were running all day. Oh, real fart! Oh yeah. So hey, be easy on the bed there. Guess we got dirty luck. All right, guys. Oh man, it stinks. We're going to Stanton's. All right, guys. So we made it back to the house. We were just going through and cleaning a little more, a couple things up. And um, went and picked up some more scrap, as you see here on the trailer. Uh, I didn't get to that farm. Uh, I went there, and the guy wasn't there, and I called him, and he said that uh, he was busy today. So we just went through and cleaned up some copper and some brass and stuff that, ugh, things I didn't get to and a little bit of stuff we picked up. I'll put this strap away. So we did pretty good over at Stanton's. Yeah. Right, Lunchbox? We didn't do bad. Yeah, we did all right. So we only brought that stuff that was in the back of the truck. You see the prices. Number two copper, number one copper, brass. Uh, brass shells, no dirt. That was um, brass casings, like uh, bullet casings. We had 324 pounds of electric motors in that garbage can alone. And then uh, number two wire, 80%, was... Um, eleven dollars. That was a couple pieces of house wire, and then at number one wire, eighty-five percent <laughs> was a hundred and one dollars. That was that wire, wire that was the, well pump. Yeah, that was well pump wire. <laughs> and then we had eight hundred and seventy-six pounds of sealed units for one hundred and eighty bucks, and our dirty rads were um three hundred and fifty bucks. So that um that was fourteen hundred and six dollars, guys. 1406 Woo. That's pretty good. The copper price wasn't bad. 290 for number two, 310 for number one. And that was before we even got started today. Yeah. <laughs> brass was brass is down five cents a pound from what I got last time. Electric motors went down two cents a pound since last time. But yeah, guys, that was just a little taste of um what I brought in from Stanton's. That was some of the stuff we cleaned um last week. Last week and stuff I did the other day. But uh, there was some stuff, I mean, I just went through and did some more copper, like took the copper out of that boiler and put that on the trailer. Um, so that was what we had done um, when we came back after grabbing this scrap. Uh, we just went and picked up at one place that was kind of far out, but it was for a guy that gives me a lot of scrap. It was a lot of light crap. I mean, there was two rotors and a lot of light fencing and like, like just burned and mangled shit stuff i hate please do not crush your metal with an excavator yeah please don't do that everything was just mangled and i hate that shit but <laughs> the guy gives me a lot of stuff contractor and there was stuff that the homeowner wanted to get rid of so it made him look good i only do that for certain people because one day when i ask a favor you know i'm gonna be like hey remember all the time like they people sometimes people do that shit and they're like oh but i'm giving you the metal you gave me ten dollars worth of stuff. By the time I paid my helper and gas, I didn't make anything. But I still do it because, you know, when they give me good stuff, a lot of times. Good relations. Yeah, I try to just keep good relationships going, which is part of what this scrap shit is about. You know, you want to talk to people, you want to have good relations. Sometimes you got to do something to bite the bullet for somebody, because you never know when they're going to give you good stuff. Like this guy's, you know, when he, he sometimes he does. Um, Vinyl siding on a house that rips all the aluminum stuff off, gives it to me. Here, just take it. 
and I'll make four or 500 bucks or he'll give me all the copper and brass that he collects and the air conditioners and all the good stuff. So it just one hand washes the other with that. You know, you're, you're building good relationships. You want to know how I get so much scrap guys. Sometimes you got to lose money to make money. You guys are like, I wouldn't drive around and pick the stuff up. Blah, blah, blah. That's what this business is. Drive around and pick it up. You know, not everybody could just have the stuff dropped off to them. Like, not everybody's going to drop it off to you guys. You got to put in work for it. You got to clean what you can and go. But all right, guys, I'm going to end this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Um, I hope you liked my dancing video. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later.